What's up everybody? My name is Vince. Welcome to the channel. And in a lot of live streams that we do at the Home Depot, we do walkthroughs, we look over tool deals, we'll look at tool offerings that are in store. If you wanted to see some of those live streams, we'll send you on over to this link here. But a question that we get all the time is, hey Vince, how do I tell the difference between Gen 2 and Gen 3 Milwaukee hammer drills and impact drivers. Today, what we're going to do is show you some quick ways to identify the differences between the two generations. Here on my left, probably your right, we have Gen 3, what would be a Gen 3 combination kit. What we have here on my right, they're both actually on my right, your left. But on my right, to the right of these, there you go, we have a Gen 2 combination kit. Now, some of you will notice right away, hey Vince, the Gen 3 tools, because, you know, you know how to tell the tools apart, the Gen 3 tools are not the one key variant, the Gen 2 tools are the one key variant. That is correct. But this is what we have on hand to help out the very cool gang in identifying when they make their purchase. What we're going to do is, if you have a notepad or paper, or you have the, you know, the back and forth button, you can go over this real quickly. But if you were looking to pick up and identify, this is the first thing. If you were looking to pick up and identify a Gen 2 one key kit, okay. The only way, besides looking at them visually, to tell Gen 2 from Gen 3 is to look at the product number on your kit, your box. Because Milwaukee doesn't list Generation 2 or Generation 3 type verbiage on their literature, on their boxes. This, this kit's not going to say Gen 2 on it. This kit's not going to say Gen 3. They're going to have a product number. So if you were looking to identify your kit through product number on the box, this is a one key kit. The product number is 2796-22. That is this combo kit includes one key. Without the one key feature, if you want to know a little bit about one key, the features of it, you can go to this video here. Quite frankly, I don't think we have a video that goes too much in depth, but uh, maybe we'll put something there. If you wanted it without the one key feature, that's product number 2897-22. So that would be the first way to identify generation two. If it's generation two, it will be one of those two product numbers if it's in a two, com two, two tool combo kit. Can I interrupt you for a second? Yes, yeah, sure. Good please. morning, very cool gang. And I want to say a special thank you to Cody Cottrell for the $20 holler. Thank you, Cody. Cody, we appreciate it. This is the deal. We're, we're, if you're watching this post live stream, this is a live stream. If you hear Nick in the background who's helping with the stream, we're, we're recognizing the very cool gang members that are in the stream working with us to make this an awesome live stream and they help make this an awesome community. We appreciate it. Now, the Gen 3 tools, the identification or product numbers on their kits will be this, this is a non, this is a non one key kit. If you wanted it to identify the numbers, that is 2997-22, okay, for non one key. Now, if you wanted Gen 3 with the one key feature, that would be product number 2996-22. So now you have all the product numbers. Let's go over the differences and I will admit this much. When it comes to identifying the differences between the hammer drills, it's a little bit easier than identifying the impact drivers. Does that make any sense? So the, vi the visual identifications are a lot simpler with these tools than they will be with these tools. But let's go over them. You know, both of these tools have a metal chuck. The Generation 2, okay, has a hatch pattern, but in there are lines, smooth portions, in between the hatch pattern on the metal chuck. You can also see at the front of Gen 2, the ring, the ring around the rosy, the <laughs> ring around the chuck here is silver, okay? Now, Generation 3, 
also has some good knurling, a hatch pattern. It's a metal chuck, okay? But there's no lines in between those hatch segments. It's, it's all the way around. Number two, there's a red line on the Generation 3 Milwaukee chuck. And finally, with the chucks, there is no stainless looking nose cone it's here all, at the front. It's of all black right the front. It's all black throughout except for that red stripe. So that's the first one. You probably, the only problem is is that somebody might pull a fast one and put a Gen 3 clutch um, chuck on a Gen 2 drill, I would suppose. So let's move on to the second part of the tool that, that differentiates it. What's up, Dan the Man Sider Home and Autobahn Dan. What's two up, dancers. fellas? On Generation 2, you have your speed. I'm sorry. On Generation 2, you have your clutch dial here, and then you have your function, okay? Whether it's straight through drill without the clutch function, your clutch, your, your screw driving setting, and then your hammer drill setting is on a separate ring on Gen 2, okay? So, if you have two spinnable dials here on your drill, you have a Generation 2, okay? Now, Jack Preston, thank you, Jack Preston. In for two cheers, mates. Thanks, mate. Thank you, Jack. If you, you can easily identify the difference between the two tools, because on generation three, all of the clutch settings, and then finally the drill and hammer drive, hammer drill setting are on a single ring, a single selector ring. Also, the way you enable the, the driver functions, the clutch for that, is to just simply go to one of the pre determine numbers. You don't have to hit a separate switch or dial to put it in driver function. You just spin it to the first available numbers, set your clutch, and that is it. What's up, Eddie? Small horn, Jack Press, Anthony Hernandez. What's up, guys? Says thanks for the information, Vince. No problem. Number two, you know, this is not going to help you, but they both are a two-speed drill. If we, if we move down the tool, this is another way to tell if you're looking at it. Now, hold tight here for one sec. I'm gonna see if I can find it. If I missed your comments, I wanna say good morning to everybody in the very cool gang. Thank you for being here. If you are picking, if you are picking up a kit, it should have a handle included, okay? So, if you're buying them using it, it's not coming with a handle. Quite frankly, these are two powerful tools. I, I wouldn't buy it unless you're knocking a, a, a nice amount of money. You're going to need these handles. If you look at the housing here, okay, you'll see two notches. It's up Redemption Garage. On Gen 3. You'll see a single notch on Gen 2. And that's the reason. The reason for that is because of the design of the handle. The Gen 2 handle only attaches at the top of that housing, of that, of that case, okay? Okay, on Gen 3, okay. the handle wraps around, wraps around and locks into those two, two notches on either side of the tool. Now, this has two functions. Function number one is it makes for a more secure attachment to the tool. Number two reason, and we've, we've confirmed this through testing, because of the compact size, the, the tool, some people will say it will run hot. When you attach the handle, this adds extra metal to this metal frame and also acts as a greater heat sink for the tool to dissipate that heat. Whether it was intended or not, and I'm sure it was intended through the thoughtful engineering of Milwaukee Tool, I'm not certain, but when they incorporated that, it helps for heat dissipation. So you'll see the handle wrap. That's also easily identified, identifiable 
if you're going over a website, if you see that handle wrapping in the picture, you know it's Gen 3. What's up, if Dwayne? If it's only on the two, if it's only it's only attached at the two points at the top and doesn't wrap the tool, it's it's definitely Gen 2. ABD, what's up, Truth of Luke? Did you say Dwayne's here? Dwayne Stain. Hey, hey, hey! Dwayne Smith, I'm sorry, that's, that was horrible. So, RB, what's up? Jonathan M, we want to make sure people aren't accidentally purchasing the Gen 2 when they intended to buy the Gen 3. We've had multiple people request this multiple times. What's up, El Nico? So when we're walking through stores from now on, when they say, how do you tell the difference between Gen 2 and Gen 3? We're going to point them to the video here, which will be this video. Now, more subtle... Momo's here. More subtle ways to tell is the hammer on the hammer, a Gen 3 hammer drill is much smaller. This is more pronounced on Gen 2. Okay? It's going to be kind of tough if you don't have the two tools side by side. The overall size of the tools, okay. once again, if you don't have them side by side, you won't know. But if you wanted to refer back to the video when you're making your purchase, keep in mind, with a 5 amp hour battery, if you have a portable scale with you, like if you're into, if you're into like picking stuff up, uh, out, of the, out of the trunk of a car, you know what I mean? You might carry a scale with you. Yeah. Okay. With 5 amp hour battery, you're looking at 5 pounds, 1.4 ounces for Gen 2. Gen 3 is 4 pounds, 12.8 ounces. Okay. If you have to, and you have the two side by side, and you don't know. You gotta use the old, <laughs> this one feels lighter. Then this one. What's magic. up, Dark Magic? Okay. Now. Waiting for a go. <laughs> <laughs> Gen 2, tool only, in case you're buying it, tool only, no batteries, is 2 pounds, 14.9 ounces. Okay? Gen 3, tool only, with no battery, is 3 pounds, 3.1 ounces. Dwayne the Train Smith, thanks for sharing the knowledge. Dollar ninety nine. Thank you, Dwayne the Train. Hey, hey, hey. Choo choo. The other way to tell as we move down, okay, is Gen three. The Gen three tool will have its light pointing up from the base of the tool. Okay, if the light's down here, it's Gen three. If the light is up here by the trigger, this is a Gen two tool. Those are easily, easily recognizable ways so that you know which tool you're buying. ABD says 2853. Remember it in your head. Memorize it. 2853. Is that the uh, Gen so that 3? Might be, that might be tool only. Yeah, that's that's a hammer, I think. Okay. If, if you're buying the tool, two eight, this is 2804-20 for Gen 3. The hammer drill for Gen 2 by itself is 2706-20, but that's for the 1K. Okay. Okay? Now, when we move on to... What's up, Aaron Lighthouse Handyman Services? This is a little bit, this is a little bit tougher. What's up, Jason Kerr? Visually, if you're going to look at them on a website, okay, you need to recognize that it's go you're going to have to use your, you're really going to have to look closer. Big A's here. What's up, Big A? The Gen 3 tool is much sh shorter, okay, and a little bit fatter. Gen 2, I don't want to swap, I don't want to switch this up on you. Gen 2 is longer and slimmer, okay? Now, how much longer and slimmer? So Gen 2, What's up, Cheese Master? Where is he? Jeff Parker says hi from the Lawn Side Depot. What's up, Jeff Parker? Gen 2 impact driver is 5.28 inches. So about five and a quarter inches. Leave it on there, leave it on there. Okay. Seeing that? Got it. All right. Okay. As we can see, Gen 3 is much shorter. Okay. We're at 4.61 inches. Nice. So a little over four and a half inches. Now, you got that? Yeah. Okay. Oh, no's here. Oh, yes. Oh, no. Oh, yes. Johnny M, have a good day. Enjoy it. If we, if we go to the width of the tool at its fattest point, okay, 
we're looking at 2.37 inches here on Gen 2. Go ahead. Okay. Joshua Delgado, do you think they'll come up with a Gen 4 if they have Gen 3? I think Possibly. They, I think they will eventually. It's not going to happen this year. What's up, Toolhead147? I Toolhead? like Gen 3. You can get into more tight spaces. I agree. D-Brock, $2 holler. I have nothing to say today. Thanks, D-Brock. <laughs> so... Gen 3 is 2.395 inches. Ryan Jacob, dollar ninety nine. Keep up the great content. Thank you, Ryan Jacob. Thank you, Ryan Jacob. Ryan Jacob again. It must not have went through the first time. Send it again. Thank you again. So, Ryan. the other way to tell the difference between the two tools, okay, like I said, Gen 3 is is shorter and fatter than Gen 2. If you're looking at them in person you'll notice at the top of generation two, you're gonna have these two octagon, hectagon, tropagonal, I don't know what you want. Might be a trapezoid. A tra you have these two trapezoid shapes at the top of the tool. Gen three is more smooth, save for Gen three has some extra cooling ports here at the rear. Gen two does not. Also, you'll see this cut in. The notch. Mm. For you Pixel 3 users, you'll know what the notch is. On Gen 2, you'll see the notch cut in where the M18 stamp is on Gen 2. On Gen 3, there is no such, there is no such notch here. Actually, if you look at it, the notch is much larger. See that? You see that notch? Yeah. yeah okay, the notch is larger here, but not pronounced at the top. Okay. The Milwaukee is much smaller. At the nose cone, okay. then the Milwaukee on Gen 2. Also, John Rice. Gang, you'll, gang. You'll see this rubber backing wraps the top of the tool on Gen 2 compared to Gen 3. Otherwise, ergonomically, the handles are much the same. Thank you, Ryan Jacob. Okay. Thank you. The handles are the same. The lights are in the same position. That's why I say, when it comes to identifying the impact drivers, you're going to need to pay a little bit more attention to what you're, what you're picking up. Now, this is the non-one key impact driver, generation three. It's product number 2853-20. One key, generation two, which I'm seeing more of still than non-one key, is 2757-20. Shaky, shaky, thank you. John Rice, you got it. Wakey, wakey. We put them on the scale. Generation 2 is 3 pounds, 13.8 ounces. You're definitely getting more power with Gen 3, Terry Tool. Generation 2 is 3 pounds, 13.3 ounces with battery. Okay? Gen 3 weighs less than Gen 2. Generation 2 with battery, 3 pounds, 13.8 ounces. What's up, John Vera from NYC? Gen 3, 3 pounds, 13.2 ounces. It's, it's a, a matter of point six, point six ounces. So they're very, Gen 3 is lighter, but not by much. But it is more, it's a more stubby design. Definitely more compact. More compact in length, not width. Thank you, Amos Cardoza. What's up, famous okay. Amos? So, Joseph Caraballo, thank you for tuning in. Appreciate the support, Joseph. So those are the ways to quickly identify the differences between Milwaukee's Generation 3 hammer drills and, imp and impact drivers. If you have any other questions, make sure you leave them down in the comments section below. I want to say thank you to the moderators that showed up on the stream to keep the chat G-rated. I want to say thank you to our super chatters today for helping out the channel. We appreciate it. Goes towards buying tools, buying wood, buying fasteners, doing collaborations, buying equipment. We appreciate it very much. We know you work hard for your money, and it humbles me that you're willing to help the channel in that manner. Also want to say thank you to the very cool gang. Each and every one of you, everything that you do here for this channel, the likes, the comments, being subscribed, showing up to the live streams, leaving the comments, being in the chat. We appreciate everything you do, each and every one of you. With that, I want to say I appreciate every single one of you. I always tell you twice because I appreciate you double than any other creator here on the platform.
All right, everybody, get back to work. I got to go. See you all on the next one. You're going to like tonight. Video's over, but I know you want more. So this is how you're going to get it. First thing you need to do is pretend you're this guy. And you're here at the birthplace of freedom. Now ring that bell like it's 1776 and let all notifications through. What? You're not subscribed yet. Well, smash this button here. After that, watch this video here, here, and maybe over here. See you later.